this ruling tomorrow, 8, probably. Most likely. So you. tomorrow is the 5th. The Kenya Human Rights Commission has condemned the acquisition of Kenyatta University land by the government, terming it illegal and an act of impunity. The rights body claims the move did not follow the right procedures and now wants it reversed. KHRC says Kenyatta University risks losing more than 400 acres of land to a state orchestrated scheme of land grabbing, veiled as acquisition for supposed public interest. Kenyatta University was asked to surrender 30 acres of its land to World Health Organization, 10 acres to Africa's Center for Disease Control, 180 acres to Kenyatta University Teaching and Referral Hospital, and 190 acres to facilitate resettlement of Kamai squatters. The civil society is greatly disappointed by this culture of impunity which continues to be perpetrated by state cronies to suppress and undermine the rule of law and we hereby demand the following. One, that the government holds any development and subdivisions on the land pending the determination of ELC petition E029-2022. What, what's the hurry for? What, what's the emergency? We are wondering why are these decisions being, being made so fast and also without respecting court orders and also without respecting the rule of law. So and these are times when the worst decisions are normally made when it comes to governance of, of public affairs. And it's, it's, it is not just this KU affair. You have also seen so many other things being fast-tracked eh, for mainly uh, political exped expediency. It is worth uh, noting that neither the university vice chancellor, Professor Paul Wainaina, uh, nor the council was uh, involved in the conversation, leading to the decision to hive off a, a portion of the land, despite them being custodians of the land. Further, the university has a detailed master plan, which details how it intends to develop uh, every inch of its 